Day seven, countdown until my student loan is below $40,000. Why is the world so full of haters now? Now that I've had a little bit more money, you can tell people just treat you a little bit different. When I was a brother that had no money, you know, people were friendly, they'll talk to me and help me out. But once you have a little bit more money, you know, they don't talk to you as much. They start putting distances to you. And it's like, I just think it's funny. It's like in this economic times, you know, when you have 76% of people living paycheck to paycheck, they can tell when you're not stressing toward the end of the month. So instead of becoming a friend, you become the enemy because unlike them, you know, you're not doing crazy stuff. You're not using your credit card to buy groceries. Uh, you're not, I don't know what stuff that I used to do. Or you don't have to go to the 99 cent store like some people do. You don't have to like look for food on sale. You're eating a little bit healthier. If things go crazy around, you're a little bit calmer. That's why you want to have money. But like as I learned from like all successful people, even Steve Jobs, even to Bill Gates, once you had that little money, people started hating you. Like look at for look at Bill Gates for example. And I he's the Antichrist because he has a little bit more money. And now you see his Elon Musk was doing fine. Now when he had like the issue with the marijuana, now all of a sudden he's cool with the people who have smoked pot and do drugs and have no money like He's just like us. No, my friend who's taking drugs, he's nothing like you. If he ever gets in trouble with the law, he can write a check, be out in one day. If you get in trouble with the law, you'll be sitting in the county for like 30 of, 20 to 30 days if you don't have a house to put up for collateral. So no, you're not the same. So that was my rant for the day. Because I'm, I'm just like... You can feel people just like, oh, he may get promoted from me. Oh, people talk to him a little bit more. You know why they talk to me a little bit more? Because I go that extra mile. That's why I want you guys to learn sales. One thing you'll learn from sales is customer service. And I was just listening to my CD from Kevin Hogan. And just what I learned is people want you to do the work for them. When you do the work for them, you become a person that helps solve problems. Because what do people want? Less problems, more money. They have less money, more problems. Then they become irate and they like get scared for their jobs or think they're going to get fired because they don't have enough emergency money set aside. So if anything crazy does happen, they would be protected. Like, for example, look what's happened to Pacific Gas and Electric. That was used to be a multi-billion dollar company in the Bay Area. And now they're falling for bankruptcy, bankruptcy because of the fires and all the different lawsuits that's going on. So that's what happens. Things look are going fine for a while, but when you stop that, that good customer service, when you can just say, hey, I made a mistake, I'm sorry, or I see it from your point of view, it can all be smoothed over. But then when you become defiant, when it's not necessary, especially when it comes to money and time, you just make unnecessary problems for yourself. That's why I've been using, I've been able to use sales to help me in my engineer career because I'm able to answer, ask questions, listen to questions. I go to workshops to keep on building up my skills. So when it comes to listening to what people say, I can say, okay, in addition to that, is there anything else? Or I can just simply tell them, Martin, we're having issues with this. We can't pay you that $5,000 check. I understand. In addition to that, anything else stopping you? Well, Though you don't think you have the money for that $5,000 check, you think you can write that check for me to get this done? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I, bumped, I learned from my 10X Growth Con. Two questions. One, when a person complains, yeah, I hear that all the time. Uh, when, when can we get you started? And number two, have you seen enough to make a decision? You don't have to talk to people a lot. You don't have to like, like say, oh, I understand how it has not had money. Just say, hey. I'm giving you this presentation. Just stop between the presentation. Have you seen enough to make a decision? Because you already know people like you. They search on the internet. They talk to people. They read blogs. So when people come into a supermarket or they come into your store, they're ready to buy. It's just you have to push them over. Only thing stopping them is their fear. They're like, oh, do I have enough money? Do I have this? Do I have that? All they want you to do is say, yes, you can do it. Now, if you're able to eat from day to day I know you can afford this product that you know you need because if you leave out of here you're still gonna need the product if you get it now it saves you time it saves you money and you can focus on more important things 
So that's why you need to use sales. Sales is not so much to make money, but it's to help you negotiate your way out of situations where people who are arrogant, who are actually broke, living paycheck to paycheck, you can tell when a person doesn't have money when they say, I want to talk to the manager or, or I want to sue. So, okay, I see what you're saying. Well, in addition to that, is there any questions I can get answered for you? So when you talk to my manager, he can help you quicker. You just have to let people vent, use their emotion, you know, because I was there. I know what it's like to just be broke. You're hungry. You know you want to go to the doctor, but you can't. So you don't know what's going on out there. You see people on the freeway driving fast, driving crazy. Is that all really necessary? It, it is when you have a fulfillment, a.k.a. warehouse job. But that's a great job to have. So while you have that warehouse job, I want you to go look at my past videos on how to pay off your car loan. 18 months, how I reduced my student loan for 94000 to now below 40000 in August. So that fulfillment slash warehouse job, I want you to treat it with respect. But realize that job may not last for long because you know Amazon eventually for later are going to go bring in the robots. So make sure you learn sales, set up that emerging fund, emergency fund, and remember no job is forever. Even if it's a government job, it's even worse. What do you want to do, retire? Just find out you have no pension. That's why I'm working these extra jobs. So when I said, Martin, you don't have a pension when you've worked for this Caltrans company for 20 years? I said, hey, I have no more, I don't have a problem. I have my own business where I'm making $100,000, $200,000 a month. And I'll tell you about my click funnel adventure. Next will be countdown seven, countdown six, the student loan.